Afternoon. Buenos dias. We are at Epcot's World Showcase. We asked earlier, we made a post on YouTube asking what we should do at Epcot, and a lot of people responded back try a snack at different countries. At every country. Try one snack at every country. So we're here, and uh, first things first, Mexico. If you couldn't tell by the yeah. Hola, Buenos dias, noches. And then we're going to work our way around and uh, see what we can get. Por favor, manténganse aliado de las puertas. Now let's go do this. And our first snack, churros. Kind of boring, but... What? Who says churros are boring? Charlie wouldn't like this. Oh, right here at Mexico at the restaurant, they are $4.50 for this whole entire uh, seven pack. And it comes with some sweet chilled caramel sauce. Look at the cinnamon sugar just brushing off them. I'd have to say, I like Disneyland's churros better. Hands down. And I wouldn't eat these without the caramel. Well, I gotta say, I'm not a big fan of churros. They're so boring. I mean, no, they're not boring. I just something, I don't like the cinnamon sugar. I don't like it on, you know, like the, like the texture. Uh, they do taste good, but I don't like the texture of them. They're definitely not like a preferred thing I would ever get. Yeah. But Mexico didn't really have many sweets, no. snacky snacks, snacks. Yeah, stuff like that. Like nachos aren't a snack, they're a meal or an app. They're but not like But for $4.50, you can't go wrong. Right. If you like. Norway we go. Well, in Norway, the bakery that's usually inside is actually under refurbishment, but they have this little stand out here. And I think we're gonna get ourselves a La Fessa? La Fisa? Left Say? Let's check it out. All right, we got ourselves the Left Say. It costs $3.25. I'm not even sure what's in this, but it's pretty nifty. It comes wrapped like this. We're gonna give it a go. What was it? $3.50? Yeah. yeah. $3.25. $3.25. Not bad deal. It's like a hoagie? No. Uh, Oh my it's gosh, a gonna... sweet cream wrapped I would in kind of a, a tortilla. I wouldn't eat the end because it has been touching the trash can. Oh, well, I'm eating the end anyway. <gasps> You're such a goober, but let's go for it. Well, it's basically like cinnamon butter rolled up in a tortilla, and I think that's pretty interesting. It's disgusting. For the most part, I'm not asking people or asking cast members what any of this stuff is, because I kind of just want to try it out for myself. 
And uh, I don't know, I like it. Yep. Tastes like butter. You don't like it, huh? Like you took a stick of butter and bit at it. No, it's like cinnamon butter. No, it's butter in a tortilla. Oh, it's pretty good to me. All right. Nom, 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 nom. Nate is doing a science experiment and I'm pulling it apart now. I just gotta unroll it to see. Oh my lordy. This is very messy. Don't unroll it. What That's is a, that? I told it, you it was nothing it's like but a butter. Tortilla with like cinnamon spread butter on it. Oh! Oh! Heavens to Betsy, where's the ducks? The butter popped literally on my Mickey. Hello! This is magic. Uh, uh, what? Uh, ooh. My no. Oh! Uh, Someone was fishing. Uh, yeah. Fishing. Yeah. Caught me. Uh -huh. Could never get it uh, out again. Yeah. 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 <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. No. 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 Oh, yeah, no. Yeah. Ha! No. No. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Ha! No. <laughs> oh, is that how? Well, Norway and Mexico were done. China, here we come. And I hope they have something kind of refreshing here, like cold I'm looking for. That's the goal, that's the goal. Does beer count as a snack? No, oh. no, no, no liquid diets today. We're gonna go inside the China Pavilion, well, the House of Good Fortune, and try to find something we haven't had before. That's the whole goal of this. Things we haven't had before. Or else, while I was at Norway, I would've got school bread, but I've had that a lot of times. So, maybe they have something inside the House of Good Fortune. All right, we found this whole entire rack of delectable treats, and I think we're gonna go with Hello Panda. Hello Panda. These are, well, they have two different types. Cookies filled with strawberry cream or cookies filled with... Vanilla. Vanilla cream. Well, Yip picked it and she said we're going with vanilla. And they're so cute. Hello, Panda. And these seem like a very good value because they're only $2.10. That may have persuaded yep. my choice. So, so far, Mexico, Norway, we're at eight dollars, ten dollars, three countries, eight to go. Eight to go? Eight to go. Holy moly. And we spent ten bucks. Yikes. Look at these little things. Huh. Oh, I'm so excited to try them. failed so for two dollars and ten cents these are pretty amazing I actually like them a lot <laughs> I do too. huh and hello panda and yeah so far my favorite thing has been the hello panda cookies yep for two dollars and ten cents who would have known what treasures behold inside the house of good fortune. Is that what it's called? For yes! Real? Good fortune. And now, on to Germany, but first, food and wine, August 30th. Cannot wait. Will I be here? Yes! Ooh. And in Germany, we stopped to the Caramel Kitchen. Caramel Cushions. I had to learn how to say that properly, because they got a lot of caramel stuff. And they have a lot to choose. Even Werther's original handcrafted caramel popcorn, but we're going for this. The chocolate and caramel covered pineapple. All right, so we're gonna pull up next to our favorite pickle Christmas tree and uh, eat our pineapple covered chocolate and caramel. Sounds good. And there it is. Only $4.49 and they actually take your annual pass discount at the Caramel Kitchen. So I'm excited to try this.
Yip's expression kind of told it away. She doesn't like it. I haven't tried it yet, so hopefully, I don't know. It's definitely unique. It's pineapple, chocolate, caramel, pickle tree. I agree with you. It's disgusting. It does not mix well. It is very cold though. Maybe yeah. if you just eat the pineapple. I already put my hands on it. No, I don't want germs. Oh. It's gross. Sadly, that was a first. Fail. And a last. Yep, that was our, I, I would consider that our fail. Um, but we knew that that was gonna happen. We are trying new things. We could have just took the easy way out and got the chocolate covered s'more. But That's we what said, I hey, and he's yeah, but, like, no, we gotta try no, new I things. Said s'more, new and things. He goes, Take a chocolate covered pineapple, please. And new said, things. All right. Next stop, Italy. Well, at Italy, the sweet snack stuff is not too much. So, we are actually gonna go inside because the only other dessert or snack that they have is the tiramisu push pop. And it's $7.50 and I know we can do better. And look at these nifty things. They say product of Italy, so that works for me. Yep, and they're GMO free. And they're only $2.45. Awesome, and they have hazelnut, they have uh, caramel, cocoa. Wow, what a score. Way better than 750. <laughs> and let's speak Italian. Arrivederci. Arrivederci. Ciao. Ciao. Grazie. Grazie. Prego. 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 Ha ha, prego. Ha. Ah. Okay, so Nate is opening up our little chow. It's so cute. It's it's basically a chocolate ice cream cone. Just no ice cream. Fake ice cream. Oh wow, look at that. It's got little Rice Krispies on it. It's fake ice cream? It's supposed to be, yeah. Oh wow. I'm so excited. Here I go. A little unfair because all the good stuff was at the top. So when I bit into it, I actually took all the good stuff. Well, I liked it a lot. Um, now, you haven't been negative all day. You did like the panda cookies. Oh yeah, I did like those panda cookies. But for $2, you can't go wrong. We have made it all the way to America and we've only spent $16. $16, right? Yep, yeah. that's pretty awesome. Yep. So let's go to America. Yeah, let's go to America, Boathouse Boys. All right, looking for a little bit of American snack. And I can feel the rain coming down. Yeah, I'm not actually seeing anything in America right now. I mean, they have cupcakes. They're $4.99. But we want to try something different. We've had plenty of cupcakes before. Yeah, but America's going to only have things that we already have had. Oh, true, true. And we have successfully found the cheapest thing you can get as a snack at the American Pavilion. You can get a funnel cake for $7, add vanilla ice cream for $2.50, and you can skip the funnel cake and just get the ice cream <laughs> for $2.50. It's literally a slice of ice cream. Literally a but slice. that's the cheapest thing we found all day. Well, if it works. Wow, it's like you're cutting a cake. Look at that. Mm. Well, the hint of vanilla is refreshing and it definitely melts very quickly. So you have to eat it in a hurry. Nom 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 nom. Thank you. Well, there's not much to say about the ice cream except for her. It was ice cream. I like that it was like literally a slice of ice cream. Yeah, and Yip didn't hate it. No, I didn't. It was ice cream. So Japan, here we come. All right, Japan and the Katsura Grill. We're going here because that vanilla ice cream just wasn't enough for me. Ay, ay, ay. I need something different. 
I don't want anything sweet anymore. This is such a cool little place. Look at it. I'm looking at it. And they got a little hidden restroom up here too. It's tiny though. Good for pooping. All right, Japan. You've got some green tea ice cream. Only four dollars. And how's that water? Good? Um, actually, it's free. It's free. It's very good. <laughs> wow. Green tea ice cream. You're the slow mo man. This is definitely a first. I just noticed you're wearing a do rag. Anyway, yep. go ahead. I like it a lot. Here's my bite. Here's Veronica's bite. I hated it. Yep. I just, I don't know. I mean, it, it tastes good. At first, it definitely has a uh, kind of a strong taste to it, like tea-wise. It tastes exactly like tea. It's, you tell me it does not taste no, like it green tea. exactly like green tea. Yes. Ice cream. I like it. And for four dollars, you can't go wrong. It's a pretty big size. It's not supposed to happen like that. What do you mean? It's not right. What do you mean it's not right? It's weird. It's freaky. I like it. Walking around Japan with my green tea ice cream. Don't get us copyrighted. That's a really popular song. Really? Yeah. And our Japanese excursion is over. And would you look at the view of the Guardians building from here? Yikes. It really is kind of an eyesore at this moment. Oh yeah. I mean, well, any construction really is. Well, Morocco, here we come. Four more stops. We've only spent $20. I have always wanted to be real Morocco, which you probably already have seen it if you're already this far into the video, but it is so beautiful, Morocco. Yes. Well, we're gonna stop into the Tangerine Cafe here and try some baklava. With the bantabak. With the bantabak. There was a tough decision that had to be made here. About a little more baklava? Well, here's the thing. I wanted to keep in tradition and trying to find the cheapest Snack. snacks in the country. So, they had two different types of baklava. They had chocolate baklava, which was $4. And then they had pistachio baklava, which was three forty-nine. Did you get the pistachio? I got the pistachio baklava. I thought Saved baklava the 50 was going to have like meat or beef in it. No. 50 cents saved for pistachio baklava. I cannot wait to try this actually. I have to say, I was very happy that I got the pistachio baklava. This was pretty amazing actually. I, I love it. Absolutely love it. it. Tastes like butter. You don't like it. No, it tastes like butter. How? This is actually so amazing. Wow, what a deal. Earlier. Pistachio baklava, my favorite so far of the day now. I love it. If you love pistachios or nuts, you'll love it. I, I don't think not, you like pistachios. I think the thing I don't like is when they're wet. What do you mean wet? Like your second dessert from Norway was wet. And this one was wet, and ice cream is wet. I don't get it. Like wet. What are you talking about? France Pavilion, here we come. And I bet there's gonna be something you like here. Me too, I think there really, really will be. But is it gonna be the cheapest? I don't know, we'll find out. One. Oh. We're gonna head to the back of the France Pavilion to experience the taste of France. See what I did there at the sign? And go to the bakery. For the longest time, I didn't even know this bakery was back here, actually. <laughs> Isn't that funny? It's such a hidden gem. I could get the chocolate biscuit, but Veronica really loves macaroons, so... French macaroons. You gotta get the macaroon for a $5.75. And here it is. It's so cute. Raspberry and lime filled macaroon. See, I don't know if I like macaroons because they're cute. Wow, but this is a huge macaroon. Wait, am I wearing my macaroon earrings? Oh, no, no, those are the cupcake ones. But not too bad. Like I said, it's not the cheapest. 
We paid two dollars more than we should, so we're at twenty-five dollars oh, now. Are my favorite. I know. That is much too good right there. Much too good for children. Much too good for children. Well. What? Oh my god. Seriously? For real. How? That's the most disgusting one we had. Well, I really, really thought this was the one that you were gonna love. But don't, you don't like raspberries. No, I thought it was strawberry. And they actually have like whole raspberries inside them. I love it. It's it amazing. Me. It threw me off. But, I mean, we gotta get you a winner. We only have two countries to go. Okay. Well, two more countries to go. The raspberry lime macaroon. Is that what it was in there? Yes, that's what we just that's had. That's what it was. Remember when you tried that Peter Pan thing the other day and I was like, I hate lime? Oh, I love lime. That's what but, I tasted. Okay, it was really good it's to me. Sour. I liked it a lot. Listen, I liked it a lot. It's sour. It still does not beat the pistachio baklava, though. So Veronica far. has yet to accept anything, really. Well, my favorite thing so far was the vanilla ice cream. And the panda cookies. <gasps> oh, I keep forgetting about those panda cookies. But we are on our way to the UK, so I'd be pretty bloated if you don't like something bloated, there. Bloated, love. Bloated, bloated my love. Uh, yes, huh? of course. Chip, chip. <laughs> okay, my lovelies. Yes, we're looking for something in the UK. Please tell us the recommendation we were given. That's it. She said that we have to get a hold of it at the fish and chip shop and that you will get a little sponge cake with a little bit of raspberry custard. Okay, so with we're going to do that. With tea on top. Well done. And it looks just about lush. Yes, we got the Victoria sponge cake. He said, afraid not. We don't have got twenty two. So, so puppies will come out. It anyway. cost four dollars and fifty cents. And what is that in pounds? Pound. Okay. Cake. Pound cake. It looks really good. They I can't wait to try this. It's pound cake, love. Huh? Did you? Have, what is it in pounds? It's pound, pound cake. cake love. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here it is. We only got one stop to go, so I hope this is the winner for you. All right, Queen and her cookies to you. She likes it. She it likes it a lot. Well. Whoa, Look wait at a that. Second. I didn't get to the middle. Oh, get. Oh, oh yes. How is it? I love it, especially the strawberry jam. It's raspberry, I think. Mm -mm. But Nate loves it too. Yep. Last bite. Come on, champion. One more bite, love. Let's okay. go, governor. All right, on to Canada. Last country to go. I wanted to try to keep this under thirty dollars, but I only have a minutes. <laughs> I have a dollar to spare. So unless I can find something in Canada for one dollar to snack on, we're going over our thirty dollar fund. Fee. Fund thing limit. Wow, Morgan. so a little bit of a magic moment. I said I wanted to keep it under $30. Our last spot was Canada. We went in there and Morgan, the cast member in there, was talking to us about maple lollipops, what they give away for free, they don't have any. but they don't have any. So she gave us maple leaf candy. Bourbon for, for free bourbon. on Mickey. Woohoo, Mickey. Said we did it under $30. Woohoo, high fives. So these are basically mapled hard candies and they're just like the lollipops. Here you go. Uh, your fingers are on it. Wow. They're so good. Yeah. They have a, a strong taste to them. But that's it. Yeah. 11 snacks for under $30 at Epcot. We did it, and our battery's dying, so we gotta make this quick. So love the life you live. Live the life you love. If you're first time watching, subscribe to our channel because you might like it. See you and next time. Toodaloo. Bye.